Okay, we have a force of 80 pounds on a rope, and it's pull, used to pull a box up a ramp at an incline of 10 degrees. And the figure shows this, this rope forms a 33 degree angle, but it's with the horizontal. That's the key. The angle is with the horizontal. So, the way it's set up is um, the action, the, the, uh, the moving, the displacement vector is going to be along, this, along the ramp. The displacement vector is going to be along the ramp. Okay, at a 10 degree angle with the horizontal. So when it comes time to find, um, here's our force vector, F, and then this guy now is my displacement vector, D, then F, yes, is at a 33 degree, 33 degree angle with the horizontal, um, 33 degree angle with the horizontal, but the... Uh, But the displacement vector is at a 10 degree angle with the horizontal. So the displacement vector, let me do it in a different color. The displacement vector is coming out at a 10 degree angle with the horizontal. Let me just make it longer to exaggerate. The displacement, angle, uh, displacement vector is coming out at a 10 degree angle. What's the angle between the vectors? Because in the formula, we need to take the angle between the vectors. In the formula, we need to take for, to calculate work. We take the magnitude of the force. We take the magnitude of the displacement, and we multiply by the cosine of the angle between them. The angle between the vectors. The angle between F and D is this angle here, the subtraction, 33 minus 10. So that's 23 degrees. Okay, it's going to move at 21 feet. Feet pounds will be the unit of our force. So it takes the, and um, we take the 80 pounds times the 21 feet, and the cosine of theta doesn't have um, units on it. Um, and we don't, uh, we have to use calculator, but it's the cosine of 23 degrees. And uh, that would be the work done. Um, it's in foot pounds. Okay, so that's why you have to subtract the, uh, the angles because of the incline. Um, and the, the displacement vector is going along the incline, not along the horizontal. <laughs>